pattern here, right? They do their thing, and then I come out, and I kill some time so they can get into their next costume. Okay? But just a few words about Halloween. Do you remember when this used to be a very, very minor holiday for the children? Remember your kids coming home from school? They were so excited. They'd rush into the kitchen, and you'd be ready with their costumes, and they'd get their costumes on, and they'd grab that shopping bag, and then they'd run out really fast, and they go up and down the block, trick or treat, trick or treat, and they come back with their Tootsie Rolls, and their M&Ms, and their Mars Bars, and their Baby Roots, but now, it's a holiday for everyone, even for the seniors. Look, you're all celebrating Halloween. How many people were in Walmart? Did you see that new candy section? Yeah, they got, they got chocolate now with fiber. Okay, Just, yeah, yeah, they, they did that for the seniors. That's for you, okay? But, and, and being a senior, you know, you have your perks being a senior, right? There's always the perks. There's the senior discounts, you'll get your discounts on everything, right? Nobody ever expects you to run anywhere anymore. Nobody even expects you to walk anywhere anymore, right? Okay, people call you 9 o'clock at night, they want to know if they woke you up. Right? 9 o'clock. Okay. Remember when you guys were working out there? And you get home 6 o'clock, you'd sit down, you'd have dinner, and then you're retired. Okay? The next year, you're having dinner at 5. A few years later, you're eating dinner at 4. How about 3? Three? 3. <laughs> Late lunch. Now, now, you have it, now you're noticing that in a lot of restaurants, the luncheon specials and the early bird specials are overlapping each other. And I notice here at the center, by 11.30, you're finished with lunch, you're waiting for the buses so you can get home and take your afternoon naps. <laughs> My son gets up at 12 o'clock, he wants to know where the breakfast is. I tell him, you know where I work, they're already on their nap. You're just getting out of bed right now. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, but uh, you know, you get older and you forget about a lot of things. You forget about sex. The things you remember are the important things, like your reading glasses, not sex. You wanna know where your reading glasses are, right? Just, last, <laughs> last, last week I went to the doctor. I was on my way out the door. My wife said, where are you going? I'm going to the doctor. I'm gonna go pick up my prescription for Cialis. She goes, wait a minute, I'm going to go with you. You're going to go pick up your prescription for Cialis. I'm going to go with you. What are you going with me for? Because if you're going to take that rusty old thing out, I'm going to go for a tetanus shot. <laughs> Very good, Frank. And, and it's always got to be when she's in the mood. Always. She wants to know when I'm going to go, <laughs> when I'm going to go out and buy her some lingerie. She said, the lingerie will help put her in a mood. I said, what would you need lingerie for? Love is blind. Right? Love is blind. You don't need lingerie, right? <laughs> but uh, we stopped, my wife and I. You know, after we had our second kid, we, we were finished. We were thrilled. She told me, she said, that's it. I heard one in every three children that are born in the world is Chinese. That was enough for her. <laughs> she didn't want to go past that. <laughs> But all these years, all, all these years you paid into your health plans. You paid a ton of money into your health plans and now you're all getting the big payoff, okay? Now you're able to cash in on them, right? But the key here is to find a really good doctor. You have a hard time finding a good doctor? I found a great doctor, an internist. He's terrific and he works with you. He showed me an x-ray last week and I told him I couldn't afford the operation so he touched up the x-ray. <laughs> I mean, is this a great guy or what? The guy, the guy is terrific. But as you get older, remember, you can always trust your friends with your deepest, most sacred secrets. You can, because they can't remember what the hell you told them anyway. Okay? Is everybody enjoying what's going on here today? Okay. All right. We're going to go on with our next act. Yeah, they're yelling at me, no. All right, that means, if, they said to me, three or four minutes, and I'm timing it, I'm looking at the clock, so now I gotta pull out another joke here. Okay, but this one I'm gonna read to you. Three men married wives from different states. The first man married a woman from Michigan, and he told her that she was to do the dishes 
and house cleaning. It took a couple of days, but on the third day he came home to see a clean house and dishes washed and put away. Not bad, right? Pretty good deal. Okay. The second man married a woman from Maryland. Got to turn the page. He gave his wife orders that she was to do all the cleaning, the dishes, and the cooking. Three things. The first day he didn't see any results, but the next day he saw it was better. By the third day, he saw his house was clean, the dishes were done, and there was a huge dinner on the table. The third man married a girl from New York. Yeah. He ordered her to keep the house clean, the dishes washed, the lawn mowed, the laundry done. And he wanted hot meals on the table for every meal that was served. And he said the first day, he didn't see anything. The second day, he didn't see anything. But by the third day, some of the swelling had gone down and he could see a little out of his left eye. And his arm was healed enough that he could fix himself a sandwich and load the dishwasher. Are they ready? Yes. <laughs> They're still yelling no. If this keeps up, I'm going to have to get really dirty. Uh, good. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>